backup story in Batman issue 134 is called The Toy Box Part 4, written by Chip Zdarsky with art by Miguel Mendonza. We open in Gotham City, the real Gotham City, and it's Killer Moth with a broken helmet saying, please, please, I won't. And then we see an image of Batman in almost silhouette. There's light shining behind him. But you did kill a moth. You stole money from Gotham's Sunset Retirement Community. Low, even for you. Now, I'm a busy man, so do me a favour. Tell the police everything. You got that? Yes. But then in the background, two police officers. Step back. Put your hands up, Batman. <sighs> officers, enjoy your evening. I thought he was dead. Hey man, don't you know? Batman doesn't die. On the next page we see Batman floating down onto a rooftop. Tim Drake, Robin, is there. He says, Appreciate the help, Superman. The rest of us are good at keeping crime in check. But it helps to remind people that Batman is still out there. I get it. Besides, it's kind of fun using the voice. I love that. That's a great, great little scene. It surprised me that the... And it's a great idea to have Superman pretending to be Batman while Batman is away in this multiverse. Then Superman asks Robin, Are you still planning on doing this yourself? I can come with you. So he's offering help. But Robin replies, No, you just got back. The world needs a Superman. But we've got a few Robins to spare. Is that like an in-joke about how many Robins there are or they've been? Could be. Switch scenes to the toy maker and Mr. Terrific. Mr. Terrific's asking Robin if he's ready. And Tim comes in with this great costume, huge R on the chest. I'm ready, Mr. Terrific. How does it work? We get the toy maker describing what's been happening. My original multiverse gun was key to the toy universe, but your robot... Failsafe. Yeah, reprogrammed it. With the gun destroyed, I, I can't pinpoint the universe. But I can trace this universe's multiversal energy signature. Tell you what, you can write these things, but you can't say them. Toymaker tells Tim that it should lead to Batman, if he's still out there, if he's alive. And then, in a strange turnaround, he he apologises. Toymaker says, I'm sorry. Everything here just feels so much, all of the time. I just wanted a place where I could feel in control. A place filled with toys. I know, Winslow. We're going to get you some help, so you don't have to feel that way anymore. Mr. Terrific tells Tim that the updated suit should get him to the right universe. He's going to need this neural link to pinpoint Batman's actual location. Got it. So what? Do I just think about Batman? Then click your heels three times. You'll do fine. You're a pro at this now. Then he warns Tim that no matter what, Batman's probably going to be in danger because, you know, he's Batman. And then Tim replies... I know this is why I redesigned the multiversal suit. I want him to see it's me, it's Robin, coming to save him. And I'm gone, back into the bleed. Infinite worlds, infinite crises, infinite potential, infinite possibilities. We switch scenes to... Where, where is it? Somewhere in a desert, there's a sandstorm. We get a a little box saying translated from Arabic. Maybe Egypt? I don't know. Excuse my ignorance. There's a woman talking to a man there. And then we see, in the distance, a silhouetted figure against a setting sun. Mom? Tim? What on earth? What are you wearing? How are you here? Did your father... Mom, it's okay. It's okay. And we see Tim hugging his mother. My mother died years ago. This isn't her. Wait, you're not my son. Who? I'm from somewhere else. I just needed to see you for a moment. I need to go. I need to save Bruce. But I hold on to this for as long as I can. I tell her the truth, as outlandish as it sounds. She was always a believer in the world we couldn't see, so she believes me now. I tell her how I lost her and Dad, that I work as hard as I can to make sure that doesn't happen to anyone else. Are you... Do you have anyone to take care of you? I do. I found a family. We we protect each other. And I have to go help one of them right now. I, wait, I don't know how this happened, this miracle. But I just know, in my heart of hearts, it was to show me. Every version of my son is a good one. Go, get your family. 
I will, thank you. And we see the Robin R glowing against the two black silhouetted figures. But just before Tim leaves, wait, before you go, what does the R stand for? Robin. Oh, of course, I like my favourite poem. I read it at my mother's funeral, your grandmother. If I shouldn't be alive when the Robins come, give the one in red cravat a memorial crumb. I'm glad I was alive for this. Me too. Thanks, Mum. I'm halfway across the world. The easiest way to reach Bruce from here is to go back into the bleed and return with him on my mind. No more standing in the past. And then this final page, beautiful page here. Great art by Miguel Mendonza. It's time to find Batman. And we see different versions of Batman over the years, the multiversal Batmans. Look, okay, maybe it's just me, but this short story really got to me. I know, you can say that Chip's like tugging on the old heartstrings, you know, he's manipulating us with the real emotional beats in this story, but I don't care. I, I loved it, really enjoyed it. It was great to hear, well, see and hear Tim Drake being written as Tim Drake Robin, you know, the one that I remember. Not this nonsense that's going on in that, well, that cancelled Tim Drake Robin, what, what would you want to call it to be polite, very poorly written not Tim Drake character, and nothing to do with sexuality, just the way he's written, what he says about Batman, the way he talks, you know, the, th the things he does, the way he acts. It's not Tim Drake Robin, simple as that. So yeah, nice to read this, even though it was a very short, compressed, mini backup story. And yeah, it's just a character piece mainly, but hey, come on, it's me. I like a bit of emotion, especially as I get old. As always, thank you so much for watching or for listening. I really appreciate it. And please forgive my, my rather poor attempts at doing an audio comic, trying to do voices when I've got a range of like uh, 0 0.5. But yeah, I just wanted to share this because I really enjoyed it. And just wanted to let you let you know what's good about the story, why I liked it. Um, you know, the emotional beats, of course, but just to have the character feel like the character again, it was great. Okay, hope to see you in a future video. Um, there's a lot of comics coming out today. It's Wednesday here in Japan as I as I record this Wednesday morning, you know, because we live in the future. So I'm hoping to have either reviews or even very short mini reviews on King Spawn. The new issue is coming out today. The new issue of Night Club by Mark Miller that's out. There's of course the Amazing Spider Man, which I've got to review. That's probably going to be Thursday. Hopefully, I'll get that done. And there's one more I'm forgetting. I'm not reviewing it, but I can't wait to read it. Batman and Joker Deadly Duo comes out. I think it's issue six, and that series is the best Batman series being put out at the moment. Please check it out if you haven't already. Okay, this is Gray from Magazashi's Tea House. Off to make another cup of coffee. Matane.